Alright, well, this will this will just be how we, we do it. Since it is kind of... Which is kind of... Um, so I went, I bought the shoes. I bought these, like, insoles. To make them comfy. And then realized those are for me, not for him. thousand dollars bro ditch that girl <laughs> do we just assume everyone's got the same feet because these shoes were just gener generic generic sneakers there we go. okay enjoy your shoes and your pathetic life of chasing a girl I'm hoping that at the end of his quest, he comes to realize she's just using him. I'm more disgusted than I am annoyed. Um, so I don't want to move on until I finished his story. So let me run around. Oh wait, let me check the map first. Okay, he's already back. Okay. Try not to bump into people, but it doesn't matter. Like nothing happens if you bump into people, right? Oh, he's already back there. I haven't played in a bit. And in my first class, I poured more whiskey than normal into it. Oh, come on, that would have hit him. Why did I turn around? Again, why, why am I turning the wrong way? She took your fucking two thousand dollar shoes I bought you. Oh man, no, she didn't. You're still wearing them. Yeah, she has plans with another dude, dude. I bet that's what it is. She's got plans with another guy, and you're running around getting her shit. Ugh. I kind of want to just beat up Aaron Coon at this point. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to run into her while she's on a date with another dude. Yes, I'm making the delivery. <sighs> This is the end of his story. Hi. They need to make a female playable character so that I can beat the shit out of the female characters. Ah. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? We're 
just gonna make a right at the big street. Okay. No thanks. Excuse me. This must not have anything to do with it. Oh. <sighs> or is it gonna be a dude that's calling him, making you do okay? That way they justify you beating the shit out. Kids show people. Like when adults overreact in children's TV shows is what I mean. Like live action ones. Oh, this is for the other. Oh, okay. I forgot I needed to find a forger. He's gonna make. Wait, a forger isn't gonna be good at making a fake necklace. That doesn't make any sense. That's entirely different job qualification. hurting in this, so I don't really care. This seems fine to me. But to be fair, no, it's not fine to me, because again, the dude's wife or girlfriend or fiance is a gold digger. So I, I would prefer for them to break up in that situation, but I guess it's not up to me. Like, if a girl's like, I have to have jewelry. It has to be the most expensive jewelry. Then, over him, I forgot what it was because I haven't played it in like a week. He wanted to propose to her, but she wanted some overpriced necklace. Something stupid like that. Wait. Oh, you're the dude. And again, he just straight up gives his name. What if these are all undercover cops and I'm breaking all these laws? Like, my dude, come on. 
especially because I have old ties to the Yakuza. Where is this girl? Hmm. Oh, I gotta head back down. That's the forger, I'm guessing. I have no clue where the girl is. Oh man, I don't know if that's the controller or if that's the risky. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting tripped up on stuff. Go. There we go. Okay, wait. Here? Here? Are they screwing over my boy? I don't screw over my boy. He may be an idiot that's after some woman. Oh, they're playing the game. Oh, am I going to have to play that? I can't play that with whiskey in my system. They just call this guy Chinese man. Legit. We get lots of other names like mysterious dude, angry guy, blah, 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 blah. And this guy's just straight up Chinese. Well, these are Chinese men. Wait, someone's got a knife. Oh, dude's got a sword. What the fuck? All I saw was the knife. He's just pulling out a scimitar. Oh man, that, I don't, I don't know why my character just randomly turns around and starts fighting the wrong people. I'm really just gonna have to chalk that up to the whiskey. Hey. I was hitting a bitch with a chair. You guys got a lot of fucking health, too. Oh, there's finishers. Well, that dude's dead, bro. I don't fucking care. <laughs> just smashed that dude with a couch and then stomped my foot through the couch onto his neck. He's dead. Go. <sighs> it's always a misunderstanding. Oh, boss, you know this guy? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have tried to kill him. Wait, boss, you told him? You told them about us? <laughs> the fucking boss didn't tell him. Of course, right? So now they got an ass beating, and they attempted to murder us for literally nothing. I love, I love how they just say sorry. Sorry we tried to kill you. Uh. I don't think that that's the same. I don't think forging... 
I guess forging is what you do to make a sword, but forging in this sense is making a copy of documentations. <laughs> I don't think it's the same thing as forging a necklace. I, don't overthink it, just drink whiskey and play the game. Right? Bro, a cold drop of perspiration just dripped onto my leg. Felt kind of good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's 100 degrees out with an exclamation point. Like, oh, it's hot. That's, that's, that's moderately tame, to be honest. <laughs> We're square. Until I decide to rat you out. Hi. So is that the end of his story? I don't get to find out if his girlfriend's really just using him for his money or not. Mm. Oh, it's not over. I get to witness the confrontation. Sorry, that was a whiskey burp. I get to witness the confrontation of the guy giving it to his girlfriend and her potentially calling him out. Oh, oh here it is. Oh, I thought I had to walk there. Again, if it's material goods that you need to prove your love, then it's not love. Just saying. I guess it's the thought. Which, it's not the thought, because he lied. So I don't, um. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. this is it. So he's going to be honest with her, and if she sticks around, then she wasn't in it for the money. This guy looks older than me, but okay. <sighs> now Majima's gonna be like, yo, this dude loves you, don't care about the material goods. Incoming sad music. Okay. Maybe I should take a shot every time sad music plays. Which I'll just count the bottom of the string as the shot. I hate when I click it to get all the dialogue, but that was all the dialogue. It was just two words. <laughs> sad music, though. Yeah, he, um... He was about to die because he wanted to get you a fake necklace because you told him that you would break up with him if he didn't buy you this overly expensive necklace. Really, it's your fault. But yeah, you should sit around and be mad at him. <laughs> the cheesy ass line. But his love, there's nothing fake about that. This is basically sitcom the game, bro.
because on one hand it talk it touches on like real life situations that would actually happen, but then like the hyperbole is just so large. Like, ain't no dude gonna go out of his way to nearly get killed to buy a necklace for his. Cool. The way she looks is like she's not happy about it, but she doesn't want to show that she's not happy about it. <laughs> it's like, I guess I'll keep the fake one since this guy over here is vouching for you. Like she's not, she doesn't look like she actually wants to keep it because the dude loved her. She wants to keep it out of obligation. Hey, y'all know this this girl that's tricking my my boy Aaron Coon? I haven't found her yet. <laughs> She's not appearing on my map. Hmm. Why is she not appearing on my map? Okay, let's go into uh, sub stories. Majima. Errands to run. Sotinbori Street side. Okay. Wait, this whole thing it. Oh wait, right here. Wait, I could probably get there. Ah! Get there this way. No, I don't want whatever it is you're selling, my guy. Right over here. Right there. There she is. Okay, she looks way older than Aaron Coon. She looked like she's 30. <laughs> Sorry. And he looked like a teenage boy. Look. Maybe late 20s. I knew it! I fucking knew it! She was on a date with another dude! <sighs> what they needed? The both of them needed this absorbent sheet? Maybe I should have looked at it in my inventory. What is this absorbent sheet that two people require? What the shit? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> so she's the idiot chasing this dude who clearly only wants her because she's attractive. And that's obviously the only reason why Aaron Kuhn is chasing her as well. But it's just <laughs> like... I get to beat his ass, please. Please don't let don't let me not get to beat a bitch's ass. Oh. I can't fight her. Cool. <sighs> Why would I make a promise like that? Well, huh? I got two two bros that are about to tell you why. <laughs> Cause I wipe my ass with guys like Tomo. Uh? Yes, beautiful line. <laughs> You're 
gonna regret talking shit. Do I want to use my fist or a bat? I want to use my fist, dude. Using weapons and stuff is fun. But nothing beats using your fist to beat some bitch's ass. <laughs> Especially some rich punk like this guy. Oh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> Get up. I hate when they stay on the ground too long. I just want to kick his ass and he's just laying there. Look at him. My knee! Get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> I think I got a violence problem. Go! Go! I'm so sorry! <sighs> They needed a moist towelette to go to the movies. Huh? Hi. Uh. Absorbent sheet, sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell him the truth, bro. He needs to he should have heard this in the beginning. Oh, he knew! He fucking knew she had a boyfriend. Oh no, I'm pouring a glass right now. I'm pouring a glass right now. I'm, oh, let me beat fucking Aaron Coon's ass too. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. People like this just upset me. One, don't chase a girl that has a boyfriend. Ever. Two, don't don't do shit for any girl that you ain't dating. I don't know how much money he's dropped on this girl that has had zero interest but the fact that he knew she had a boyfriend and he's still spending his own money on her no no turn the sad music off turn back on that combat music okay okay so he didn't know they were dating but he secretly knew deep down still This is the reality check you need. How much money? How much money you spend on her ass? Okay, yeah. There's not a problem with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. But there's a difference in being dependable and being used, my dude. If a girl's only requests for you involve money, then bail. <laughs> if she's always like, oh, I would really like this expensive item. Can you get it for me? She don't give a shit about you. It's just the money. 
I've legit had a girl throw a receipt at me from Starbucks and say, in case you wanted to get me something, now you know what I like from Starbucks. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> like, no, bro. Hi. You gave me medicine. These sneakers. That's two grand I spent on your ass. Better take care of it. Yeah. I know they have a different money exchange rate, and also this is during the 80s, so it's got to be way different. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh. Okay, that puts an end to that story, and I think that's all the stories I can find for this chapter. I don't even know. Again, I haven't looked anything up. But it feels like that's the end of the stories, sub-stories for this chapter. Whiskey book. Okay, let's go to work. All this shit, and I haven't even gone to- Hey, look, there he is! That's Aaron Coon! Wait, what? Now he's gonna run errands for me? Hi. What's he doing? Thank you. Okay. Did I pay him for that? Oh. Kitty. Kitty! Oh, I can't follow it. Okay, fine. Okay, so now he's gonna run errands for me. Which I guess is okay if I'm paying him. If he's just doing... I, he's probably trying to pay off the $2,000 sneakers. Which I guess is alright, but he doesn't need to do that. Oh! What the fuck is this? I thought I did all the sub stories and immediately I found another one. <laughs> Raising, my dude. What's that chunky ass bag he's slinging? Oh my god. Oh my god, that line though. Wait, was that... That was his entire phone call? Is this... 80s telemarketing? A mobile telephone, eh? That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Imagine if they made mobile telephones. Actually, I was just about to save. I wasn't going to make a phone call, but okay. Can your uh, mobile telephone allow me to save my game? Mm. Yes, I want to get a hold of your bag, my dear. Battery's dead. Is the 
battery dead. <laughs> Bro, is this an Apple product? It only takes eight hours to fully recharge. Bro, imagine a phone, a cell phone, uh, where you get one phone call, it completely drains the battery, and then you gotta wait eight hours? I mean... <laughs> Apple's about to steal this dude's whole career, bro. Wait, now, is his ass about to send me Don Coyote to buy him a new battery? Fetch quests, my guy. Fetch quests. I'm gonna do it. I mean, it's just right here, right? I'm right next to work. I just wanted to save my game. And now I'm out here buying this dude a battery. I spent two grand on some freaking shoes. Wait, is this it? No. I just bypassed those dudes that wanted to fight. I don't remember what Don Coyote looks like. Oh, that's the, uh, okay. Hold up. Wait, wasn't it on this block? No? It's on this block? Yes, okay. Okay, I was trying to spare you from an ass beating, okay? I could be Agent M, because my name is Majima. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the whiskey. I sometimes will get uncontrollable laughter when I've drank enough, and that, that was that. That was what that was. And I ain't drank in a week, so. So, yeah. Sorry. Those three dudes are going to want to fight me too, huh? Fine. Oh, wait, no. They're picking on a girl. Always, always intervene. Let me do it! Give me the combat controls. Mm, two for one freaking kick. Oh, I was trying to do that gut punch thing that I know I can do. Hey, what is that? What is this? They haven't done that to me yet. <laughs> he was holding me so the other dude could hit me. And I didn't know because they haven't done that yet. And so I just straight up punched the other guy. Thanks. Pristine skin? This girl just handed me skin. What are you kids doing? Go to school. Back to school. Whoa! What is that? I'm sorry, I went right into the mic when I did that. And I didn't need to. Bro, always drink when you play games, bro. It mellows you. It mellows you out. Okay. What am I buying? A battery? Yeah, let's buy a battery. 
just get a drink of whiskey. Only on glass two, but I'm pouring a lot more into it. Bro, this battery only cost a hundred bucks. This sneakers cost two grand. I just wanted to save my game. <gasps> Sorry. Move! I got bitches over here. Oh! Oh no! It's the big guy! <laughs> the big guy! Wait, he despawns if I fight these guys. Okay. If I fight you guys, it despawns the big dude. Okay, I thought he was closer, so that's why I did the kick. Oh! Bro, what I should do at work when I'm bored as fuck while I have no people to help. I should start learning another language. I mean, why not, right? Why don't I spend my work time being productive? I'll make a note of that. Um, when the semester starts next week, learn another language. Wait, wait, are you important? No, sorry. <laughs> That's what you say when you run into two girls that are having a conversation. Are you important? I brought you a battery. Here you go. Why can't it just always be auto dialogue so I can drink my whiskey? In peace. You're about to witness the technology of the future. Come alive. <laughs> oh, in your hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's that, and then the picture of the dude behind him on that that thing. It's like USA. And then he's either doing a pointing at you with his thumb up, or he's just straight up doing a thumbs up. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. It's my shoulder. It hurts from carrying around all of this fucking baggage, dude. Oh, do I have to go buy him something for his shoulder? I gotta go buy him fucking shoulder! I have healing drinks. Take one of my very overly expensive healing drinks. Um... That raises his heat. That raises health and heat. Um... Bro, I'm about to give him a fucking toughness infinity. I don't even care, my dude. Because I'm too drunk to understand that that is a 100% increase in health. Boy. I mean, I understand that it is, but I just kind of thought it'd be funny if I blow my instant infinite increase in health on some bitch-ass NPC. <laughs> just so I can use his phone. He's scamming the shit out of me. Oh, now I gotta fight some dudes. <laughs> but the thing is, the combat hasn't been difficult. Sorry, I am getting way too close to the mic. Oh! <laughs> Just got knocked the fuck out. Oh no, he's still up. Oh man. They just straight up knocked his ass, dude. Okay, Majima. Street thugs. Is he is he doing monkey? I feel like Majima's doing monkey. This is the way that he does his hands. I could be wrong.
I was pressing Y thinking I could do a finisher while he was on the ground, and I couldn't. He's very foot oriented. Does he get a capoeira thing? I feel like he's gonna get a capoeira foot thing. Remember the Zohan style, right? I keep trying to do these finishing moves because the Y will show up for a second so that I can hit it and do a finisher. But apparently I don't hit it fast enough and so I don't get to do a finisher. On, let's, get a, let's get a little drink of water. One. That's the water. That's some water right there. <laughs> That's some good old water right there, I tell you what. Is the battery dead again? What? Huh? <sighs> <laughs> now I gotta go to his fucking store. Bro, this is the best advertisement ever. I bet those guys were plants. Those guys I had to fight, 100%, they were plants. He went south, which means the store's got to be over here somewhere, right? Right? It's one of the ones that doesn't show up on the map. Shofukachu. Shofukacho. Shofukacho. So there, okay. Hold up, let me... Okay, I wanted to save my game, but I will... I will f fucking fight you. I'm pressing it while he's on the ground. Fine, there we go. There's a neck snap. There's a neck snap. There it is. There it is. There, that's that was terrible, but I still got it. Okay, we still got some time left. We can head on down there. We can go on down there. It's this store, I believe. I just gotta find him. Oh wait, or is he inside the store? We'll go inside the store. We'll take a look. We'll see if he's inside. He's not. He's not inside. Hold on. Let's do a quick. Let's do a quick look. See. M store show fuk ucho. M store show fuk ucho. Oh, 
I just had to go inside, and now he's back. <laughs> My mom brought it for me. <laughs> I mean, thanks, but I've already saved it, but you can keep trying. <laughs> After all of this, I forgot who I wanted to call because I already saved it. If I didn't save it, would I actually remember what I wanted to do use his phone for? Aw, oh, someday he wants to be able to use his phones to take pictures. Could you imagine mobile phones that you could use to take pictures? Like, what if, my dude? What if that was a thing? Is that the end of your quest line? I still haven't even gone to work yet. Wait, what? It's not the end of his quest line. Oh, I can use him to save now. Okay. All right. Well, we'll close this off with beating the fuck out of these dudes over here. Mm. Oh wait, I didn't have to fight you because you were intimidated. I could have focused all of my attention on the other guy. Yeah, we'll end that thing. 